Yes. Hello, it's Damien. Thank you very much for joining me today. Every now and then I'll post some spiritual meditation plates. And I want to give some instructions on how to understand those a little bit better and to see why I position them the way that I do and that to find out that there actually is a structure built in for those. Uh, and I'll go over that with you real quick. So first of all, you start off with your, your blank slate, right? Any information, any data, anything you want to know can be put on it. Then what you do is you divide it into two. When you divide it into two, what you do, what you're doing there is you're separating the active properties from the passive. So, by separating them, the active properties from the passive, everything that is above is going to be space, and everything below is going to be time, just like in real life, right? So another way to look at this is space is the aggregate of all and time is the local, so the sum total of all and the sum total of one. Um, another way to look at this is uh, space is actually nurture and time is nature. Permanence, transience. Without each other, they, neither of them can exist. All right, when you do this, when you add this duality, you are also gonna be adding duality to the active and the passive properties. So the dualistic nature of the active property is masculine, and the passive is feminine. When this happens, you're separating in directions as well now. You have north, south, east, and west. By doing that, you provide power. So you have force on the active masculine side, and you have power on the passive feminine side. Now these can also be interpreted in the world as electric and magnetic. This is the power that we see. Okay, when you use, do this, when you power the system, you also create the four elements that we use and we exist in around us. Those four elements are earth, air, fire, and water. Earth is the passive feminine property, air is the active masculine property, fire is the masculine active property, water is the feminine passive property. Okay. These also play a role in all of our bodies and our systems because we're a complex being. Earth is actually our body, what we're made out of, and how we act, how we move it, how it's formed. Air is the mind. What reason do we give it? Fire is the heart. And that's where your will and your desires are. Water is the gut. And that's my favorite one. And that's where your feelings and your emotions are. And one of the best kept secrets, care. Care itself. Okay. Now there are two other elements that sometimes are incorporated in the plates that you'll find. And I'm going to put those in here on this one as well because we're going to be looking at the internal nature of yourself as well. And those elements are... Metal, which takes from the air and brings to the earth, and wood, which takes from the earth and brings to the air. Okay, so metal and wood. Now in the middle, you'll see in every one of my plates in the middle, this is you. 
Now you are taking in all of the elements around you and boiling them down and incorporating them through your perspectives. Oops, perspectives goes there and your experiences. So your pers oops, your perspectives and your experiences. Okay, so you bring those in, you bring all that in into yourself. And in the middle, you're boiling it down even further, where I have the word how. And you're boiling that all that information down into even further. And this is the, your, your syrupy essence, your substance, your trueness, your, your true insides, who you really are, your core. That's what's in there. And this is from all the experiences, all the perspectives, all the water, all the earth, all the air, all the fire, all the heart, all the gut, all the body, all the mind, all the electricity, all the power, all the food, all the water, everything you've ever taken in. You bring it all in and you bring it all into here and this makes up who you are. Okay? At your core level. Now H is what comes off of you, what vibrates off of you, what vibrates into you. H is your health. Okay? That's the health. And the W is your wealth. It doesn't necessarily mean money, but it's your wealth. It's like what resources do you have uh, available to you, okay? So this is your consciousness and your awareness in the center, and there's four parts to that because it takes all of the elements in and the cardinal directions, all of your experiences, okay? In the physical and in the spiritual. Now your higher self is I always put these at an angle, and it looks like the word soul, and what that is is that on your your passive side is sound, and on your active side is light. And then this is your frequency and your vibration, You're, and it's unique. Nobody else has that but you. That you will never find another person who has shares the same sound and frequency that you do. Okay, this is your uniqueness, your signature. So that is your higher self, sound and light. Okay, now your lower nature which I call you. Now this is your personality, your character, and your ego. And uh, the you, the O itself doesn't have four parts to it. It actually only has two parts. And this is the dualistic nature that many people find themselves in because it's our lower nature and it's, you know, it's feeling oriented, it's gut oriented, it's the gut feeling, intuition, stuff like that. And that is actually your yin and your yang. And on your yin and your yang, um, duality, you have the masculine Y on the feminine side, and you have the feminine U on the um, masculine side, and that is your counterbalance, like what you would find in the um, in the yin and yang symbol. So that's your those are, that's your counterbalance aspects, and that's why they're raised slightly above the dualistic nature of your personality and your uh, character. All right, what we work on. This is the three-part unity, consciousness, awareness, being that you are. You're a complex being. You're a, a, a trinity. You're beyond that. But and and how you manifest everything is through uh, this trinity, if you will. All right. So that's how you read the plates. That's how you understand that you are the center of you know your own universe. I know how that sounds, but everything you know, all your experiences, all your perspectives are unique, and you, you know that's what you share into the world, and that's what you bring to the world is that perspective, is you know that position. And uh, when you understand that, then what you're trying to do is you realize that you are here in the gut. You you're trying to you know you're experiencing joy. In the heart, you're experiencing purpose, okay? In your mind, you're experiencing life. In your body, you have love. You feel it all over. So these are the, these are the, these are the, the I know they're just words to most people, but these words do end up having power when you give them the life that they need to, you know, experience the world. Oh, by the way, and down here, how this was sound and light, this is actually uh, temperature and pressure. You, those are the things that you bring into your your uh, your, your spirit, soul, uh, physical, ethereal complex. Okay. Anyway, I hope you guys like that. That's the, uh, the general explanation on how to read the plates. I do move these around sometimes. I'm coming in different positions. I do those on purpose for specific reasons, but for the, for the sake of most plates, this is the best way to understand uh, how to read them. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I appreciate your interest in it, 
and you guys take care. Cheers. Thanks for watching.